Well, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, welcome back to the Dark on Watch Channel with some uh, more Factorio! And I arranged these a little better, and they're a lot more in number. And look at that! Every single furnace is working full time and every single steel furnace is working full time as well and since each of these furnace can hold up to 100 of whatever it is melting we do not need chests for them because yeah they are a little chest in themselves and each have has a hundred of steel plates in it and those each will have a hundred iron plates in them so yeah that's a lot but then to achieve that we will actually need overproduction which we are not achieving at the moment and look at our power with all those electrical furnaces running 25 megawatts is nowhere near what we need anymore so yeah we need more power, some stuff is getting destroyed. What is getting destroyed? Of course, the stone mine is still holding up. They still haven't completely destroyed it. I really do not know how they managed to not destroy it by now. But yeah, they still haven't managed to destroy. And since we are yet again underproducing power, our power flickery problem is of course much more and look at that thing there <laughs> these I destroyed one of those because they were just constantly attacking this gate and their the turrets will constantly attacking and we are running out of power and look at that big biter we are spawning in big biters now they have 375 health as opposed to the medium biter 75 health and oh my lord, I'm pretty scared about that. Just one of those took me so much time. We absolutely do need to build our new factory as soon as possible because these furnaces are causing so much more pollution. Just look at that. That area is completely red, so no wonder big biters are spawning in. While the electrical grid is still satisfying, but not in that part. <laughs> And yeah, we need more power production. Oh my lord, flickeriness everywhere. We need to make it fast. Do we have boilers? Yes, we do. And do we have steam engines? Yes, we do as well. So yeah, we can extend our power generation. Boilers. Oh my lord. You, sir, you'll have to go. And the robots just repaired the damaged torrent you will have to go in from here and even more power for us because damn it we need a lot of power absurd amounts of power we soon need solar panels and stuff and whatnot I am pretty sure that's gonna get destroyed if it stays there we'll put you somewhere back in here yup there we go, and a light for you. There, nice and tidy, and I'm pretty sure we are still not producing enough energy. Yes, we aren't. We indeed aren't, wow. How? How? Because coal in here is dropping down, yep. Coal is, coal is dropping down in there, how? Oh, oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Coal is dropping down. Why is that? Because we are underproducing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might, might, might just be the problem. Oh, these have run out of coal. Yep. Now I know what the problem is. Great. <laughs> you guys will be supplying that. And I don't care if this area is pretty messed up. Oh no, iron is going through there. Iron is going through there, you guys. You guys know we don't have a need for you anymore. And yeah, <laughs> this area is getting depleted pretty fast. 
That is for sure. There you go. Coal for you. Produce some electricity for us. Alright, how much are we producing? 27 megawatts. A little more, but yeah, not nearly as much as I would like. So yeah, we'll move on to produce electrical circuits this episode. That will be the aim for this episode. We have iron plates, we have copper plates, and we have steel. So we need electrical circuits that needs copper cable and iron plates. We can produce them here. And we do need two copper cable producer per electric circuit producer. So yeah. First, we'll bring the copper in here. Copper, you need to come down and come in. And somewhere around there looks good enough. Remove those so it doesn't look that nasty. And I think I will have to nudge this a little bit if it looks too weird. But yeah, not gonna do that now. Splitter. There we go. Jesus Christ. Maintaining and making the bus is really mind-boggling, but then it will pay off later, I'm pretty sure of it. It will pay off later! And one last bell for that coal and stuff. There we go. Copper is coming in. Why do I have so much space in between? Oh, oh <laughs> alright, never mind. There we go. Nicely coming in here. Oh right, the just the right lengths, great. <laughs> and you will be coming out in here and be splitting up. Maybe I'll just nudge you in like two belts there. And then you will split up. And since copper is in we need a lot of literally a lot of these. One, two, maybe just a little bit lower. Because, yeah, we do need the space in between. Don't want to cram things again, do we now? Nope, we don't. There we go, that should be good. Two, three, four, five, six and six in the middle as well there we go and I can't see anything so we'll make more lamps so yeah guys I nudged this thing just by two blocks because I was cramping again near the main bus and yeah I couldn't live without it so normal belts you will go there while underground belts you will go there <laughs> I don't need that many in me 4 9 should be enough what else do we have in mass and yeah the heavy biters I mean the medium biters attack look at those they actually indeed did not take too much from the laser turret to get killed but yeah they are a little bit more of a threat so 
Yeah, we need more turrets, that is for sure, but that's not an emergency. So, we'll go straight up from here. And that is the place we need the copper in, because, yeah, it needs to be beautiful. And not some weird looking thing. <laughs> Mr. Robot, you take a lot of electricity. I'm out of electricity and I need more solar panels for right now because fusion reactors, the personal ones, are pretty far, far away. Pretty far away. There we go, and I am trying not to use the robots too much because I need them for constructing stuff like this. So, yeah, the copper can come in from here, and copper can go in here. And the copper can flow from the both sides of you guys. Looks good, looks great. Yep, looks great. But, now that I think of it, we might just need two belts of copper cables, so we'll separate them by a little more. Just a, it's a, bit, a bit more. And you, sir, can go. And it's a good thing that belts don't take damage from shotguns. And there we go. Good things come after a day's hard work. Don't they now? And the night, it just, it just comes way too fast. I don't know what's happening. Maybe the time is really flying past me while playing Factorio. But yeah, the time is indeed flying past like there's no tomorrow. Night, the, the, the nights are so frequent. <laughs> There we go, conveyor belts. You aren't even a stone. I thought you were a stone, so I tried to shoot you, but no, you are no stone. And we'll need more electrical poles in here. That should be good enough. And some lights, because I hate night in this game, really. You literally can't see. I literally can't see anything. I dare not think what YouTube does to the night. Must be horrible. There we go. Nice and easy. Now we'll put the coppers in and take the copper cables out. Nice. <laughs> the people do it so fast in speedrunning. And I'm struggling on placing that even with the speedrunning method. <laughs> speedrunning must be hard. Hey, more of you guys have showed up. And the turrets got damaged because there is no wall to fend them off. But our robots can fix that in a wee second. There you go. So we have six in each side and we are not producing enough electricity so the lights aren't bright enough why are we not producing a lot of electricity though we shouldn't really be producing 15 megawatts at least why what is the matter with you why is coal not reaching ah we need solar panels Alright, you are mostly stone now. Yep, we'll stop that. We'll stop that. You're mostly stone now. That is your problem. Yep. <laughs> so that is your problem. Yep. I have a real ghetto setup. And it does not seem to be working r correctly. Take all the coal from you. Put all the... Oh, uh, no. Put all the coal in you. Take coals from you. Put all the coal in you. And you should be going for a little more while. Come on. <laughs> we need more electricity production. So much coal in there. 
but not enough coal in our system. There we go, fix that, Mr. Robot. And we ran out of repair packs. Huh, worry not, we'll make some repair packs. There we go. Come back. 25 megawatts production. Oh, 30. Now we are needing 30 megawatts of production. Great. Now that the research has stopped and this factory here has stopped, we are only needing 15 megawatts. 12 megawatts. <laughs> and yeah, these will have to go soon as well because the mines have been depleted. 100 steel plate each? Yes. 100 steel plate each. That is very, very good. Awesome. There we go. Quick fix with robots. I, robots are really... I did not even need to add the cut there. I thought it would take some time, but no. Just with 10 robots, it's so good. So good. <laughs> robots for the win. And a full belt of copper wires in coming in. So we will need is more of you guys. And I think you'll need iron plates as well, so yeah, iron plates and copper cable. Copper cable can come in the middle, while we will need half a belt of iron plates. So yeah, we'll need iron in here as well, and we'll mix and match in, in here, mix it up. Iron, you will be coming up from here, and <laughs> the stone mine is getting destroyed yet again. I'll be going there. Iron will be coming on the upper lane, while copper will be going on the lower lane. good that works that works pretty nicely and we can take out all the copper in here just sit there and let it come in and oh, oh what was destroyed oh god no 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 I forgot laser turrets there damn it Damn you. Damn, damn you. There we go. Laser turrets for life. And yeah, destroyed stuff is so much easy to replace with robots now. <laughs> Look at that. Up and running in no time at all. <laughs> Up and running in no time at all. We did not have to reload that. Good. <laughs> nice, nice. Robots are actually very useful. And we'll take the copper out in here. There we go. Iron coming in. We don't need that much copper plates, so we can just... Oh, we don't need that much coal. Don't need you as well. Don't need as much copper and iron as well. Right. <laughs> There we go. Nice and steady. We'll take the copper in here as well. There. Cool. And since we have six on each side, we can have three of these on each side and that will balance out the copper wire production, which is good. didn't notice the tree in the middle <laughs> and we need some smart inserters copper wires are coming in while smart inserter you will be inserting iron 
iron plates. Iron plates. There we go, on the upper lane, iron plates. I am learning the guys, I am learning so nicely. I make so much less mistakes and so much more efficiently. My placements have become so much more efficient that I am actually loving myself. <laughs> there we go. And the electronic circuits can go up there. Electronic circuits will be brought up and I can just copy you to everything. Hey, electronic circuits. Forgot to put in the iron itself. <laughs> there we go electronic circuits will be produced and for now the electronic circuits can go ahead and get stored in this area nice and easy lemon squeezy <laughs> there we go a filter inserter yet again which will be inserting electronic circuits and a filter inserter yet again which will be inserting electronics on you as well. Electronics! You need to insert it on the other side. Thank you. There we go, a belt full of electronic circuits and the electronic circuits can join back where it rightfully belongs, this belt. <laughs> that crazy, crazy belt. Yeah, we can just reverse this thing. Electronic circuits for the win. Oh, damn it. You chest, you. You bugger. <laughs> you missed my placing streak. There we go, and finally the electronic circuits can come down in here and join the main bus. There we go, guys. We have done the electronic circuits, and yeah, we can always extend this and make multiple copies of this setup or make it a bigger setup just to saturate that belt in the near future when we do need it so hey look at that i can just copy the whole thing and place it yet again to make all this work <laughs> look at that yep if we edit that, there we go, the whole thing placed yet again <laughs> and everything can work as intended. Except that, no, 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 that, that went a little crazy in there. There we go. Same thing, done again, and it's a good thing that the blueprint copies the recipe in there as well, so yeah that is good and I found out that the ratio to these copper wires and these electronic circuits is 3 to 2 so 6 of them can actually support 4 yeah <laughs> so yeah there we go that should be enough for saturating the electronic circuits for now so yeah I am happy with this setup. Amazing setup. And I think this is the perfect time to end this episode here, guys. 
Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Like this video if you liked it. Like this video if you want Factorio to continue as a series. And if you like this video, share this video with your friends and whatnot. Helps my channel, helps me grow. As you guys know, I am still a small channel. And everything you guys can do always helps me out. See you guys in the next one. Some electrical poles and some fast inserters are missing. <laughs>